Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I have with me today the Seneca Dragonfly MK2. Give you a real quick glance over this thing before we get it out to the range. We'll just start at the front. It is threaded half by 20 red fiber optic sight. How cool is that? Got this hardwood stock, fully adjustable rear sight. It is a bolt action. It has a good trigger. I've already tested it. Has 11 millimeter dovetail rail. So stay tuned in the next video. I'm going to put a scope on it. I just got some 11 millimeter rings in that I ordered for it. So we can really put it on the bench and test out the precision we can get out of this thing. These Dragonfly MK2s come in 177 caliber or 22. Out of the box, it has the single feed tray in it. This one is in 22 caliber. But also comes with a magazine so if you want to run it magazine fed you absolutely can how cool is that what else do we need to talk about i picked this thing up from pyramid air course if you're looking for anything air related or pellet related or bb related or pcp related pyramid air is the place you need to go you guys that watch the channel know all about pyramid air but this is a lever pump and the big kicker about this is it's 15 pounds of effort every single time. So, you know, in the olden days, the more you pump it, the harder it got. And once you got up to 10, 15, 20, you're up there. Ugh. Well, this design with that lever system in there makes it easy to pump every single time. It's the exact same amount of effort. No matter you get, you're pumping it three times or 15 times, it's the exact same amount of effort. But today... I'm going to take it out to the range. We're going to do some plinking fun. We're going to do a walk up in the woods. If we see some squirrels, we're going to get some squirrels. If we don't see some squirrels, we're still going to have some fun out there in the woods plinking with this Seneca Dragonfly MK2 that I just picked up from Pyramid Air. But let's get out there to the woods. Let me grab my 22 pellets. And we'll see if we can find some squirrels. And if not, I'm going to put throw some cans in the back of my pickup so we can still have some targets to fling at. But should be pretty cool. And like I said, stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to have a scope mounted on here. We're going to bench rest it and really see what kind of groups we can do. Also, test out some different type of 22 pellets and see what this thing likes the best. But let's run out there to the woods, see what we can do with this baby. I'm excited. Check it out. All right, guys, so I snuck up in the woods, no squirrels, didn't see any rabbits. So we're just going to have some fun out here. Our very first time with the Dragonfly MK2 out here. And what I picked up for us to bring out here was these Seneca hunting pellets. And I'm just going to single feed them all for this video. Next time when we do the bench rest stuff and I have a scope on here and we do a bunch of pellet testing for this baby, I'll uh, bring the magazine out. But let's go back to 15 paces or so. Let me show you my target set up here. Over here behind me, I've got a wheel with three paper plates. Let me show you these real quick and I'll go back and we'll do some planking with them. Hold on, how do I flip this around? Here we go. We got the top off of one of those big old spools. Got three paper plates up here. Be careful if you're ever using these for targets. Never ever put a target near one of those metal pieces. You don't want to have ricochets. Also, anytime you're out there flinging pellets or BBs, always make sure you got your glasses on. But like I said, I'm going to go back to 15 paces or so. We're just going to have some fun out here and see what we can do with it. Check it out, let me load it up with those Seneca hunting pellets. And here's what those pellets look like. I'm sure somebody wanted to know, but these are all that we're flinging for this video here. Testing out this Dragonfly MK2 for the first time. All right, so like we said back there at the desk, this thing has some serious horsepower. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple more pumps. We're back here 
uh, about 15 steppies or so. Let's just see where these iron sights are at here. Ooh, looks to be dead on right out of the box. Let me show you guys here. So, flip this camera around. Hit a shade right of the bullseye where I was aiming, which at 15 paces or so offhand, that quarter inch to the right could be me. So let me just take a few more and see how I can do with it. All right, so I'm going to take a few more at that same target and I'll edit out the slow parts here for you. And that thing is on. Do another. Here we go, number three on this same target. Oh, that's putting them in there. So that's three on this target. We walk up there and... That's more like 12 paces, I guess. But offhand, not bad. Like I said, this is not a kitty little plinker. This thing has a lot of horsepower. This one in the 22, it ought to be going around 700 feet per second, give or take, depending on which uh, pellets we're using and how much we're pumping. But let's go back even further. I'm gonna set up some of these Coke cans, just have some fun. Let's go back to, oh, 20 yards or so. Those sights are dead on out of the box. I might hold a shade left or so, but let's put up some cans here and have some fun. All right, so on the top of that spool there, I've got some cans. We're at about uh, 15 to 20 paces somewhere in there. Let's see if I can hit those cans. Knocked it down. There's another one up there. Let me reload and knock it down. All right, back to the same spot back here. Steady hit here. It's probably about just inside. 20 yards maybe 15 yards got that second can Woo! all right i'm gonna do another three shot group at that same 15 yards or so see if i can do a little bit better both hands on it not worried about the cameras let me do three real quick at that 15 yards see if i can do even better with that all right so i just did three more from the same distance that 15 yards offhand I got the group down about 50% of the other one. Check this out. This was our first group at 15 yards or so offhand. Then I put everything down and just really focused on what I was doing. Two touching and one right there. So 100% the accuracy and the precision is there with the 22 pellets out of that Dragonfly MK2. Can't wait to see what we can do with it once I get a scope on it and we take it out on the bench. Eliminate all the variables. We'll probably knock that group down half even again, maybe. But I really had good luck with these Seneca hunting pellets. If you're looking for some pellets, I'd say these are probably a good place to start. But there you have it, guys. My first trip to the woods out here. We didn't find any squirrels or any rabbits, but first trip to the woods out here with the Seneca Dragonfly MK2. The uh, pressure is the same on every pump, like I said. The accuracy and the precision is there. We saw here even offhand, I'm getting touching groups, which is pretty incredible. Threaded barrel, fiber optic sight there on the front, fully adjustable rear sight. Does have that 11 millimeter dovetail which I'm gonna do. We're gonna scope this baby and really squeeze all the precision we can out of her. But if you're looking for something, small game hunting, it's quiet. You can even make it more quieter with that threaded barrel there. Hey, thing's got a whole lot of sauce on it for not a whole lot of beans, but hey, check out Pyramid Air. Something like this floats your boat. Appreciate y'all. Let me know what you wanna see on the next one. We'll see you next time. Hoo-dee-hoo.